Welcome back to the Equations Unit. Today we're going to be starting with multi-step equations. This is part one of multi-step equations, so let's go ahead and get started with our calculators right now. So we have some steps to solve our multi-step equations. Multi-step equation is a general term that we use to describe any equation where we have more than two steps. So this could be a three-step equation, four-step equation, five-step equation. Any steps over two we refer to as a multi-step equation. So step one, we're going to remember to draw that wall to separate the two sides of our equation. Then in step two, we're either going to need to combine like terms or distribute one of those two. Then we're going to eliminate our constant using inverse operations. And finally, we're going to eliminate our coefficient using inverse operations. So the last two steps are the same to solving our two-step equations. We just have to do some things first, like combining like terms or distributing, to clean the equation up to make it a two-step equation for us to use. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in example A. So here we are at example A, and I've got four outside of the parentheses x plus 5 inside the parentheses equals 13. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is drawing my wall down from my equal sign as I talked about. Now I'm either going to need to combine like terms or distribute. So taking a look at my problem, I notice that I got a 4 outside the parentheses and I don't really have any terms that I can combine, but I can distribute. So I'm going to distribute my 4 to my x and my 4 to my positive 5. 4 times x is going to give me 4x. 4 times 5 is going to give me positive 20. And then equals 13, because I didn't do anything to the other side of the equation, that is going to stay the same. Now I've got myself a two-step equation, just like I know how to solve from before. So I've got positive 20. The opposite operation of positive 20 is negative 20, or minus 20, same thing. I need to do that to both sides of my equation, so subtract 20 on both sides. They're going to cancel out, bring down my 4x. 13 minus 20 is negative 7. So now I've got 4x equals negative 7. Now I've got just a one-step equation, so I have to do the inverse operation of 4 times x, which is going to be dividing both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is going to give me 1, or 1x. And then 4 doesn't go into negative 7 evenly, so it looks like my answer is going to be an improper fraction, and my improper fraction is negative 7 fourths. And that's okay. I'd rather leave my answer as an improper fraction than a mixed number. Anytime that you get an improper fraction, just leave your answer like that. Now let's take a look at example B. So here at example B, I've got negative 3 outside my parentheses. x minus 6 inside my parentheses is equal to 42. So again, I'm going to start by drawing my wall down from my equal sign, and then I'm going to determine, do I need to combine like terms, or do I need to use the distributor property? I don't have any terms that I can combine, so I'm going to be using the distributor property here. I'm going to be distributing the negative 3 to the x and the negative 3 to negative 6. So negative 3 times x is going to be negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 6 is going to be positive 18, and negative times the negative is a positive. If you're not sure, make sure you use your calculator. Bring down my 42 because I didn't do anything to that side of the equation. Now I need to perform the inverse operations. The inverse of positive 18 or plus 18 is minus 18. So I'm going to do that to both sides of my equation. Positive 18 and negative 18 are going to cancel each other out, which brings negative 3x left on one side of the equation. 42 minus 18 is... 24, so I'm going to bring down my positive 24. Now I need to get rid of that negative 3 in front of the x, and since it's negative 3 in front of the x with nothing in between, I know that's multiplication. So the optimum multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is going to give me positive 1, or 1x. And then 24 divided by negative 3 is going to be negative 8, because remember a positive time divided by a negative is going to give me a negative, so x equals negative 8. Now let's take a look at example C. Here in example C, I've got 6x minus 7 plus 4x minus 5 equals 18. So again, I'm going to be drawing my wall down for my equal sign to separate my equation. Then I need to determine, do I need to combine like terms? So I did distribute. Looks like I'm going to be combining like terms here, so I have to figure out what terms are alike. So it looks like 6x and positive 4x are alike. Negative 7 and negative 5 are alike. So now we're going to be combining our like terms. 6x plus 4x is going to give me 10x. Negative 7 and negative 5, since they're both negative, I'm going to keep that sign and add them together. That's going to be negative 12. Again, if you don't know your integer rules, free, feel free to use your calculator. Now we're going to bring down the 18 to the other side of the equation because we didn't do anything with that. So now we've got our regular two-step equation. We need to eliminate our constant, which in this case is minus 12 or negative 12. So the opposite of minus 12 is positive 12. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides of my equation. 
Positive 12 and negative 12 are going to cancel out, leaving me with just 10x on that side of the equation. Positive 12 and positive 18 are going to add together to give me 30. So now I have a one-step equation where i got to get rid of that 10 in front of the x. So 10 times x, the inverse operation of that is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1, or 1x. And then 30 divided by 10 is 3. So my final answer is x equals 3. Now let's take a look at our final example. Here we are at example D, and again, I'm going to start by drawing my wall down for my equal sign. Then I need to determine, am I distributing or am I combining like terms? It looks like I'm combining like terms here. So I need to figure out what terms go together. So positive x and negative 7x are like terms. Then I have positive 5 and positive 9 are like terms. So I'm going to combine those. x plus negative 7x is going to give me negative 6x. Positive 5 and positive 9 are going to add to give to together to give me 14. And then I have the 18 on the other side of the equation because I didn't do anything to that number. Now I need to figure out what the opposite of positive 14 is. That's going to be negative 14. So I'm going to subtract 14 on both sides of my equation. Their positive 14 and negative 14 are going to cancel each other out, bring down my negative 6x. 18 minus 14 is going to leave me 4. So now I need to get rid of that negative 6. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is going to give me 1, or 1x. One and then 4 divided by negative 6 cannot work. Negative 6 cannot go into 4. However, it does leave me with the fraction 4 over negative 6. But I need to make sure that I have my fraction in simplest form. So I'm going to have to make sure that I'm going to divide both the top and the bottom of my fraction by 2. That's going to leave me with 2 over negative 3, or negative 2 thirds, as my final answer. So x equals negative 2 thirds. That brings us to the end of this video. So if you like this video, go ahead and throw us a thumbs up. If you love this video, go ahead and throw us a sub, and we will catch you in the next one.